Okay, this is a quick video on uh, repair of this uh, old, over 40 year old, Radio Shack Micronta 22201U multi-tester. Okay, now the problem that I had with it, and I've had this problem for many years, I had put this away and stopped using it. The problem is, it was that it, one of the printed circuit board traces um, had gone bad. It was for the most commonly used scale, which was the R1, resistance on 1x setting. Now you can see the trace there, it looks awful. If I had shown you this before the repair, it simply would have shown that it was worn away. And in the 1x setting, I was not getting contact or I'd get extremely poor contact, and then I actually tried to improve it or do a repair. I tried two techniques. The first technique was to actually use this rear window defogger repair kit, which has some paint on copper trace. The problem with this approach is this paint on copper trace is a relatively high resistance. So painting it on was nice and easy, and it was durable. It went on like glue, and I could uh, rotate this uh, style over it without wearing it out. But the problem was, is it just had too much resistance? So it provided a resistance to that scale. So when I went to do the to ohm out or calibrate the one x scale, it was showing, well, quite a bit of resistance. You know, hundred ohms or ten ohms. It was uh, first of all, it, yeah, it was fluctuating, and I. Uh, I realized that that material was not really what I wanted because I want for the case of this measurement instrument not just electrical con con continuity like you would on an electronic circuit maybe where you don't need a very low trace resistance but I want low trace resistance to be able to measure the resistance accurately and to keep it within the ability to ohm adjust. Okay, so the technique that I just did that appears to work was I took a little piece of this um, solder wick. Well, first I just tried soldering across, okay, because what happened was is I had a small piece of metal on one piece. Then I had a gap, and the gap was exactly where the dial would sit. And then I had uh, some trace again. I tried spanning the gap with solder, but because of the solder mask on this board, the solder would not stick to the gap. So I couldn't get the solder where I needed it. So that's where I tried this. I put a little piece of this solder wick to bridge it. Then I go, go ahead and I wet it with solder. And I was able to get the, the solder wick to wick up enough solder to bridge the gap to adhere so the little piece of copper that was on one side and the little piece of and the copper that was on the other side, this trace is actually okay. There are two other settings. There's the R10 setting and the R100 setting. Those were actually still fine. That trace, it's it's worn. You can tell it's actually being worn out, but it's it still works fine. And this meter, I don't use it anymore. Uh, I just want it when I put it away for posterity. To be in working condition that's all i want to put this on the uh on the win column instead of the trash heap shelf so this is a win because now this works i'm still not going to use it but i have it so anyway that's the repair